Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy KP here, coming back at you from a long break with the Katowice 2019 Major Pick'em Challenge prediction. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, first of all, you're going to need to join my Discord. It's going to be linked down in the description below. It's going to be titled Discord. Make sure you join that. If you have any questions about the Pick'em Challenge, um, the teams in it, any of the matchups, uh, or if you want my advice in general, join that Discord and you'll be able to answer or ask me a question just directly. Any time of the day, I'll probably get back to it within 24 hours. I'm always online, always on Discord. I can get back to you guys whenever. So if you want to join my community, find out when I upload a new video or stream or whatever, uh, join my Discord down in the description below. But let's get right into the Pick'em Challenge prediction. So, this year, or this major, they now have a Katowice 2019 viewer pass. I'll explain this really quickly. Basically, you can do challenges throughout the major, and that'll get you points, and it'll upgrade your Katowice coin. Um, also, you are able to do the Pick'em Challenge prediction for basically free. So it's only $9.99 to do practically the entire Pick'em Challenge prediction, um, at least from what I know so far. I'm sorry if any of that information is correct. Um, but anyways, let's get right into the Pick'em Challenge prediction. So again, you can do it normally and you can buy each sticker, but I just bought the $9.99 pass and I can do pretty much the entire Pick'em Challenge prediction. So um, let's get right into it, boys. Let's bang. Uh, we're gonna do this fast. Um, I know the first round matchups, some teams pulled really good matchups, some got really bad matchups. I'm going to kind of pick based off that, and then go from there. Alright, team that's going to go 3-0, this is the easiest pick of my fucking life, NIP 100%. There's no way any of these other teams, I mean, one of them has to go 3-0, but out of all these teams... Ninjas in pajamas, 100% should go 3 0. If they don't go 3 0, then they have Swedish tiny dicks because they should be going 3 0. Their first round matchups against Furia, it's an easy clap. NIP to go 3 0, that's my pick. The team that's going to go 0 3, this one could be Spirit, Furia, Vici, or Greyhound. Those are my four. Spirit, Vici, Greyhound, Furia, just based off first round matchups. Me, personally, I think Greyhound is the worst team at this tournament. I really don't think that they deserve to be here. So I'm going to go with Greyhound, um, and if Greyhound makes it out of the group stage somehow, or the challenger stage, I will eat a raw egg, just a whole raw egg, shell and all, on stream. I think Greyhound will get their assholes ripped wide open and Dick Stacy's gonna go small dick, he's gonna choke. Um, I just, I don't think they're at the level that they need to be at. Uh, so that's why I'm going with the Greyhound for the 3 Sorry for all the Dick Stacy lovers out there. Now, the remaining seven teams that are gonna advance, first three are really easy for me. Fnatic, million percent. There's no way they don't get out of the challenger stage. They've been looking pretty good lately. Cloud9, Kiyoshima sick. Uh, their new pickup, Zelsis, if he is playing, will be really, really good for them. I think they looked really good at Eye by Power, and they looked really good at that other tournament re uh, recently. Third per uh, team to advance, Ents. Easy for Ents, boys. Alu, God Alu, is going to fuck the virgins up. God Alu, bow down to Ents. They just won the EU minor. Uh, they're looking really hot. I think they're going to just come out of the gates. They have a good first round matchup. They should be able to comfortably go through this stage. Now, the final four picks are a little bit harder because I think all the remaining teams can pretty much take BO1s off each other. However, for me personally, I'm going with Vega Squadron as my next pick because the Russians always show up at this tournament. We've seen it time and time again. What do the announcers say? The announcers in the pregame analysis, they say, oh, Vega Squadron, you know, Underdog here, oh Vega Squadron, they're they're gonna just gonna they're gonna get shut down by FaZe Clan. Vega Squadron sucks. Uh they have no tacticality, they just push everything, and what happens? Time and time again, Vega Squadron shows up at the major and they fucking dick kids, and it's funny as fuck to watch. And I love Vega Squadron. I think they're gonna plow. 
I think they should make it through the challenger stage. Again, these last four picks are really iffy for me because I think anybody could be anybody out of the remaining teams. My next up is going to be NRG. Um, I think they're one of the top NA teams between Ghost, Liquid, Cloud9. I think NRG is definitely up there on the same level. Uh, they can definitely show up and win some BO1s. And I believe their first match is against uh, Windstrike, which should be a win for them. Um, so again, I'm going to go with NRG because I believe they're one of the best NA teams. I think they should be able to take three BO1s. That's it. Three BO1s. That's all you got to win. Remaining two spots, I'm not picking Vitality nor G2. I do not trust in the French scene right now. I think both teams are really, really bad. I'm sorry if you are a French fan out there. I think they can be really good. Just right now, they haven't proven to me that they deserve to be here at the Major. So that leaves Avangar, uh, Renegades, Tyloo, Spirit, Furia, and Vici. Now remember what I said. Spirit, Furia, Vici, and Greyhound will most likely go 0-3. So those are all off the table. Which means my last two picks are actually going to be Tyloo and Windstrike. And the reason I choose Windstrike over Avangar, even though Avangar had a better performance, is because I believe that Windstrike is a better team overall. Uh, they did make the playoffs run at one of the majors. I know they have a brand new lineup, but I think that Windstrike is a better team than Renegades and Avangar. And if I don't pick G2 or Vitality, then I, I think I'm going with Windstrike. This might change, but as of right now, I'm going with NIP, Greyhound, Fnatic, Cloud9, Ents, Vega, Energy, Tyloo. The only one that I will end up changing, if I do change out of this, is Windstrike. As far as everything else goes, this is 100% set. Windstrike is just a team I believe in right now that might change the next six days. So again, make sure to be in my Discord down below. If you guys have any suggestions for who I should pick over Windstrike, let me know down in the fucking comments. And boys, hit that fucking like button for KP being back on YouTube and doing the Pick'em Challenge prediction. We are going for the Diamond Pick'em Trophy. We're no longer going for gold. We need 100 points for Diamond. I think we can do it. Let me know what you guys pick down in the comments below if you agree what I said on the teams or if you disagree. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you being here. Welcome back to the fucking KP channel, baby. Peace out, and we'll see you for the next video. Ah!